So we know that food is a really important part of their diet. And one of the challenges and transitions that every owner is likely going to face is moving from one food to another food, even if nothing more than moving from young to adult. The important thing to consider though is that making a transition like this, while it's very nutritionally appropriate, needs to be something that we don't take lightly. We want to always have a very thoughtful approach that we recognize that we're not only changing potentially the taste of the food, but we're also changing the nutritional profile. So as we prepare to think about making a transition with our animals, it's always important to lay out a plan and lay out a process. And one of the things that I really try to stimulate owners to do is to make a mixture type situation where we're mixing the two products together to simplify and to decrease the impact to the animal. Because again, not only do we want to make sure that they're eating ample amounts of that pellet, but we also have to recognize that when we change the nutritional profile, the entire GI tract and specifically the bacteria that live in their hindgut have to transition and adjust as well. So if we're looking to move necessarily from say, let's say a young rabbit pellet onto an adult, we wanna start in week one by using three quarters of our old pellet and roughly a quarter of the new pellet. Week two, half and half, so on and so forth so that we're gradually making that transition. Don't be surprised if the first week or two, the little munchkin picks out what they've been eating before and tries to ignore the new food. It's a big change for them. Be gradual, be patient, be thoughtful in that process. And if we slowly work them through that, we'll eventually get them onto that new product and decrease the likelihood of them having any type of sensitivity to that transition.